overboard Olivia M. Julius. I opened the door to my stateroom and closed it behind me sighing loudly as I slowly sat down resting my back on the door. The large two-bedroom suite was quiet meaning that my mom was still downstairs in the entertainment lounge more than likely drinking wine and chatting with other adults. A small part of me wished I could be there, but I also would not trade being with kids my age for nothing. Today was great and I had hoped that it would not end, but sadly the old saying was correct, time really does fly when you are having fun. I took off my sandals and giggled a little to myself about the fact that my toenails were almost perfectly painted royal blue, the same color of my one-piece swimsuit. Amazingly, today I had fun even though I was restricted to doing kitty things while on board the ship. I was in the seahorse class which included the other 7 and 8 year old girls that were aboard the huge cruise ship. There were many times that I had to remind myself that I was an 8 year old and it was in fact expected of me to play duck duck goose with other girls my current age. A big plus though was since today was the last full day of the cruise the seahorses got extra time in the pool which is why I am still soaked and still wearing my swimsuit with a towel wrapped around me for modesty. After 5 minutes of reliving the day, I got up and walked over to the large bay windows and watched as the ocean passed calmly by. I wish we could stay out at sea longer I loved being on board and I was going to miss my fellow seahorses as we go our separate ways. I walked into my small room and found a note laying on my bed under the note sat a black dress. I picked up the note and read the first few sentences of mom telling me to put on the dress for dinner and that she would be back to the stateroom as soon as her massage was over. I rolled my eyes and picked up the dress, mom knows that I hate wearing dresses, but I guess since tonight is supposed to be the most formal dinner. I sighed and unfolded it to look at it fully only to see a pair of white tights that were folded with the dress. I rolled my eyes and dropped them back onto the bed. Even though I really did not want to wear the dress I figured it could not hurt humoring mom and wearing a dress just for one night. Deciding that I should not put on the dress until I fully dried off, I decided to open the glass sliding door that looked over the ocean and stepped out. I took out the hair tie that was holding my light brown hair up in a ponytail and let my hair just fall to the middle of my back. I could feel the heat of the warm summer afternoon beating down on me as I walked over to the lounge seats and removed the towel that I had been using to cover up my swimsuit and I sat down reclining in the chair, dash! I must have fallen asleep because the next thing I knew the sliding glass door opened and mom stepped out. Sarah, did you see that I put an outfit for you on your bed? Mom asked. I looked up at her and nodded. I was drying off. I replied. I was still wet from swimming in the pool. Welcome inside honey I got some big news to tell you. Mom said while heading back into the stateroom. I followed her my mind raced as I thought about what the big news could possibly be. What is it mommy? I asked once inside. Take a seat honey. Mom said pulling a chair from the dining room table. I obediently did what I was told and sat down. Look Sarah. Mom said kneeling down and getting to my level. I don't know how to tell you this. Mom said, she looked worried and I had a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. I've met someone on the ship and I really like him. Okay. I asked raising an eyebrow. It's more than that, look I want to see him outside of the ship and um. Then the realization of what she wanted me to do was clear. You want me to stay like this, forever don't you? I asked. Don't look at it like that hun. When you were Sean you were failing your classes in high school. Now you can have a fresh start where you can get top grades in elementary school. Mom I know I look like it but I'm not a girl I can't fit in as a normal girl at all. Please don't do this. You did a good job blending in this past week as a girl. She said, I mean look at you do you even notice that right now you're walking around in a swimsuit? I looked down at the royal blue swimsuit I was wearing suddenly realizing that mom was right and it scared me how used to being a girl I really was. M. Mom walked over to her suitcase and grabbed a small wooden box out of it. She opened it to revile a small glass bottle like what had turned me into a little girl in the first place. I recognized it imminently. Is that the bottle to turn me back? I asked Mom only nodded. I know it's hard to see now but I think it's for the best. She said walking to the balcony. I followed her worried about what she was going to do. Mom please don't I begged but I was too late. Mom threw the bottle as hard as she could over the side of the cruise ship. 
My heart sank as ran over to the edge and looked over the railings. I searched for the bottle and realized that the bottle had to be long gone by now. Come in here mom said, we girls have to get ready for dinner.